Fandom, how's it going? It's your boy Hardcover, and today we're taking a look at Bloodshot Volume 1. This is the Weekly Valiant. Bloodshot is a character that started in the 1990s when the Valiant Universe was first starting. Now as a character, he is widely known and very, very popular. At the beginning of the story, the character Bloodshot has been infused with nanites. Now these nanites give him the ability to heal really quick, be super strong, be super tactile, pretty much whatever a super soldier needs to have the nanites give him. Bloodshot then says goodbye to his family and he's conscripted to do certain military actions that aren't exactly the most moral. You've pretty much heard this story a thousand times before. A character is infused with certain abilities. He soon finds out that the government is doing some shady shit and you're off to the races. What I really enjoyed about this so much was that they kind of add a little bit more of a twist to it because you see Bloodshot has had his memory wiped over and over and over and over and over again. He's essentially just a giant killing machine. He's just got false memories inside of his head, kind of like Denzel Washington and the Manchurian Candidate. Wow, I only think about three of you are probably gonna get that reference. Bloodshot eventually, of course, finds out that the military has been sending him out to do all these missions and been wiping his mind, and he's not that happy about it. What I also really dug about this is that it's not just Bloodshot's own company that's after him, it's various other different military organizations that are after him as well. You see, because Bloodshot has done some shady shit, yes, like I've already said, but all those memories are locked inside of his head, and if all those memories got out, well, there could be some serious political ramifications. I really enjoyed the concept of a walking WikiLeaks time bomb, especially with how things have been over the past few days, and that to me was really the biggest hook. That to me was really the most interesting aspect about this book. Let's get to the fun bits. This book blows up things really good, and I mean really good. As a diehard 80s action movie fan apologist, this bad boy was right up my alley. I really dug that in that aspect. You're basically just watching Bloodshot turn guys into meat slurpees as each one attempts to try and capture him and hold him for more than 10 minutes, and it always goes wrong. Art wise Manuel Garcia handles the majority of pencils here while Arturo Lozzi handles the flashback sequences. Now the flashback sequences are done in kind of this really weird computer digital style that I am not a fan of, so thankfully it was put to a minimum. Manuel Garcia really is the star here and some of the stuff he draws here is really, really cool. While Manuel Garcia's art in here is very well done, there was nothing that absolutely blew me away, and there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you're just going to get an artist that that's what he does. He does a really solid job, and that's basically what we have here. The art is well done. It really is, but there wasn't anything really that stood out to me as, oh my gosh, that's incredible, or that holy shit, I can't believe that happened in this panel type of moment. Overall, I rate my books on a pass, borrow, buy, perfect scale, and I'm going to give this one a borrow. It's a solid read. However, I don't think it's for everybody. Two weeks ago, I reviewed Harbinger, and that was a solid buy. This is definitely a bit weaker than Harbinger. Now, that doesn't mean this is bad. Far from it. This is a very solid read, but it's not something that I'm recommending you just run out right away and pick it up at your local comic shop. It's something that, you know, if you've got an afternoon to kill or you want to add something to your in-stock trades pull list, Pick it up, why not? Can't go wrong with it. And if you're a diehard 80s action fan like myself, I think you'll really dig this. If this is your first time checking out my channel, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. It's gonna be found in the description below. And if you wanna take it a bit further, Patreon is found in the description down there. You know what to do, just click that link. Thank you so much, guys. Let me know what you thought of Bloodshot if you've read the series, and let me know what your favorite moment was in the first volume. Love you guys, have a great week.